Hi folks, meet my Cushman pickup truck. Finally, it's out of the garage, it's finally running. It's a 1972 according to the stamp on it. I don't know if it had a cab at some point and it was taken off or what the story is. I don't think this shifter is original. It might be, but it's like all kinds of backwards. There's also, you can see they pop riveted up some stuff there. I really think it had a shifter on the column and they took it off and that's what all those patches are. You can see the thing is well worn. I got it from, a, oh, and there used to be a headlight in the front here. Obviously they patched up, put that thing on. Um, there's the battery. Uh, the battery does not charge by itself, so I have to, uh, I kind of have to help it along. This was an eBay deal. Um, see the Cushman right in the back, and once again, it's a pickup truck. It's a steak body if I want to put steaks in it. Mostly it's full of crap. Obviously it tows. Um, this thing here has three forward speeds. Uh, out and that way is reverse. First, second, third. Third's a little hard to get to with that bolt there. It also has a high and a low. That switch flips it from high to low. When it's in high, this thing is freaking scary. Like, deadly scary. There's the engine. If you remember the other videos, just like an airplane engine, has a fuel filter, has an oil filter, you know, dual exhausts that go into one, I believe, somewhere back there. Um, anyway, so we'll take it for a little ride in a moment. Um, so, once again, this thing came from a golf course. I believe it was uh, along the Otterkill River, if there is such a thing. I guess the Otterkill Golf Course. Once again, eBay deal. Guy dealt in lawn equipment or uh, golf course equipment. He took it as part of a trade-in and uh, he didn't want it. I've been kind of working on it a little bit at a time ever since I got it to, to get it to run better. This is about the best it's run, but you'll still see it's a little bit lean on acceleration. I was running it before watching the points and they were sparking quite a bit um, even after I cleaned them. So I'm beginning to, to wonder if I, don't, um, if I don't have a situation that I, I need to put new points in or at least clean them up properly. I mean, that's probably what's wrong with it. Anyway, let's take it for a little ride. Um, it's kind of wet out there. I'd rather not destroy the lawn and all. So we'll just kind of run it up and down the driveway a couple of times. Um, just for anybody who wants to see the nameplate again. There you go. The way it works is, see this uh, 72 for Cushman? That means the year it's manufactured. Here's the rest of the serial numbers. I don't know if there's any Cushman experts out there. You guys could decode the rest of the numbers for me. Cushman's interesting if you, uh, you go to the website. Uh, the gauges claims it has 12,000 miles on it. Yeah, let's show you that. But the speedometer no longer works, nor does the odometer. The cable's probably busted. Um, I'm not sure if the fuel gauge works. It's probably got, no, nah, I think it's got more than that in there. I know the amp gauge, well, I know it doesn't, the battery doesn't charge on its own. So, anyway, shame about Cushman Motors. Another American company that's no longer with us. Anyhow, let's take her for a ride. Clutch in. First gear. So there's first. There's second, a little, come on. If you gently give it some gas, it accelerates better. That's why I'm beginning to wonder, perhaps the points are uh, 
not all they should be. Um, if I don't have a strong enough ignition, that'll cause me trouble too. But the carburetor definitely did have a problem with the uh, with the fuel pump. Yeah, let's see if I can't wind it up a little bit for you. I give it a little choke that normally makes it run better. But then it races. So I'm not sure what's better. Once again, with a little choke, it does run better, obviously. Here. Let's hit that again. Now it's uh, wide open in second. It's up against the governor. So once it accelerates up to speed, it's really pretty good. It's just kind of got a lean spot in there. Once again, I know the um, I know the carburetor is doing what it's supposed to be. Or I think I I think the carburetor is doing what it's supposed to. And third. Now we're in third. So, there it is. Hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching. Please comment, especially any, any of you Cushman guys. I got a few, oops, as I stall it. Uh, any of you Cushman guys out there, uh, because these things are interesting. At this point, I have four of these. I have uh, this guy, obviously, and I have the um, the uh, two uh, police cars, those guys over there, and I have it says Easy Go on it, so I guess it was after the transition when uh, Tex Texron Tex Texton whatever bought them up. Um, so and I I have one of those guys, so I'm up to four of these beasts. I don't have any Cushman golf carts. All the golf carts are easy goes or clubs, mostly easy goes. Most of them are electric and most of them are junk. They need to be parted out. But that's what there is. All right, folks, live, love, have a great time. Remember, keep your steering wheel out the buckwheat and remember to put it in neutral when you drop the clutch. Take care.